Hello, Marina Gabor here from Oakfield Safety, offering you some encouragement and support for teens that are coming up, up and coming babysitters. We have a quote today from James Baldwin. He says, children have never been very good at listening to their elders, but they have never failed to imitate them. Now, as parents, we know this, our kids imitate us. And as babysitters or up and coming babysitters, this is something that we talk about. The fact that the young people that they are watching are watching them and they're going to imitate them. I remember one babysitting course I was teaching, one in particular great group of kids, we were having this discussion about integrity. This fact that the inside and the outside, it needs to mesh. What you say and what you do need to match. Like if you are disrespecting school property and then you're telling parents, oh yes, I'm a very responsible babysitter. There's like this disconnect. It was a great discussion. It went long and it went deep and kids were really getting it, that they could have an impact on other young children and make a big difference in their life and also help the parent out because who doesn't want somebody positive influencing their kids? Now, being a babysitter is a great way for kids to become more self-aware and develop integrity. And I do say develop. Now, growing teens, brains, uh, they do weird things. There's all these demands thrown at them. How can we encourage them to live with integrity so when they're babysitting, they are setting a good example for those kids? Uh, number one, we can have those kind of conversations at home, just random. They can be off the cuff, at the dinner table, whatever, talking about integrity and not preachy, but just perhaps examples that you've seen, uh, which is the leading to the second thing. As you see your teen, your child acting with integrity, they say they're going to be home at a certain time and they are home at a certain time. That's acting with integrity. They say they have their homework done. They actually have it done. And we can point out those things and commend them for those acts of integrity. So then they are able to then spot people acting with integrity out and about. And third, this is a tough one. I know I need to do this regularly. Am I acting with integrity? Am I doing the things that I say I'm doing? Because like the quote said, huh, they have trouble listening, but they do imitate us. Now we need to, of course, offer grace. I know grace has been extended to me where I wanted to act with integrity and I, I, I missed it. That's going to happen to you. That's going to happen to your kids and we can offer grace. And as we extend grace to others, grace will be extended uh, to us. But in the meantime, learn to recognize people acting with integrity. Keep an eye out for it in your kid's life so you can commend them. Do a little bit of self-reflection and have some interesting supper conversations. Until next time, be someone worth imitating.